Hurricane Idalia was one of the most devastating storms to hit North Central Florida, and specifically Florida's third congressional district, certainly in my lifetime. When you see the fields that looked as though they were freshly plowed, it's actually that they were sandblasted from the intense winds. People talk at length about the residential losses, the commercial losses, but very few have talked about the agricultural losses. The chicken houses that entire buildings either collapsed or blown over, hog operations where thankfully we had dedicated men and women and ag families that stayed behind to tend to their livestock. We've seen through touring the district some of the tornado damage that resulted uh, from the hurricane as well, where red iron buildings look like they were just crumpled up and tossed like a piece of paper. The aquaculture industry sometimes gets left out because it's out of sight and out of mind. But we knew as the storm was coming in, the devastation that our clam and oyster farmers were going to sustain. I mean, the images that you see are in some cases, most cases, 100% loss, which a season could be 18 months or more. This is the livelihood for so many of our people in Florida's third congressional district. And it's heartbreaking to see all that has been lost. But as I have said, we are strong, we are resilient, and together we will.